I think we got to get into Rogers first because this is, I really truly thought we would have this resolved by now. I think the Packers know what he's going to do. I think he knows what he's going to do. It has not been publicly resolved. But I do think it's interesting. You see David Bakhtiari, their their left tackle restructures his contract. The word is they're going to franchise Devontae Adams. They bring in an OC in Clements who, who has a background with Rodgers. The wins point to Rodgers being in Green Bay, probably for a massive deal that makes him the highest paid quarterback in the NFL for at least a couple of years. I'd say at least two, maybe with an option for a third. Why though? Why? Why is this dragging on? Like, why drag this out? Is this, I mean, it just, I, I can you know tell you, who I don't you're feel, talking about here. I get it. I know, but I feel less dialed into this and I have felt very dialed in for a long time with Rogers. I feel less dialed in than ever now. And I don't know if it's because he's not speaking to a lot of people that are close to him anymore. I don't know if, I don't know what it is, but like, it's just the, the fact that we're dragging this out. I expect it will be resolved in the next 10 days as we go to the combine and start sitting down and finding out what the Packers are doing, because if they're not looking for a quarterback, um, or they're not looking at drafting somebody, which would be indicative of, hey, Jordan Love's going to bump up to the one and, you know, they're going to draft a quarterback and then they're working on a Rodgers trade. It's pretty much indicative that he's going to stay in Green Bay, which is actually what I think is going to happen. But crazy things in this league seem to happen every offseason. So I think he'll be back in Green Bay. I have not thought he was going to leave. He's not an unrestricted free agent. Uh, the cost would be enormous. I mean, you look, he, he, would he fit in great in Denver? Sure, but you have to give so much up. Um, and the contract. Remember the contract cost. Contract is a problem. I mean, I got a bunch of things to say on this, but if, I've said all along. You want to get to the playoffs, okay? He has a cakewalk to the playoffs. The Vikings and Bears just redid their, they, there are new coaches and the Lions won, what, three games? You have an easy path to a division title. Now, are you there to win division titles? No, but first you get to the playoffs and you host as many games as you can. And if you look at the NFC, it is nowhere as hard as the AFC. The AFC is an absolute snake pit. There's too many good quarterbacks to deal with. The NFC's final four teams are San Francisco, the Rams, Tampa, and Green Bay. Brady's gone. The Niners are, are putting it all on Trey Lance. Who knows? Any one of those four teams could have won it and could have won the Super Bowl. I mean, great run by the Rams. Phenomenal. They get all the credit in the world. But if Leonard Fournette doesn't unexpectedly score quickly in that game against the Rams, like remember it was like fourth and one, he, and he, he bounces wide and scores, and there's 50 seconds left. If he just gets tackled after six yards, and then Brady scores with eight seconds left, and you have a coin flip, and Tampa win, boom, right? Like, that's how close this is. All credit to the Rams. But that's how close this is. And Rodgers does not play well in the, uh, you know, I didn't think in the Niner game. I didn't think he played well the year before in the Tampa game. But essentially, he's right there at the doorstep. He's got the team. He's got a much, much easier path. He has a simple path to the division title. Um, why the hell are you going the AFC? So that all of that, I think it's a more manufactured buzz with Rodgers. I think everyone's just sick of it. The drama is just, I mean, we went through all last year, skipping this. I'm going to become the Jeopardy host. I'm the blah, blah, blah. And he shows up. And I would say this, if I was Aaron Rodgers PR guy, if he has one, forget read the room, read the world, right? What do we just talk about? Like put out a statement tomorrow. I'm happy to go back to the Packers and this is going to be exciting. And I'm going to put my head down and work. This isn't really a cool time for drama, right? I mean, that's not fair. Maybe I'm overreacting. It's not his fault and all that. But, like, don't go on the McAfee show. No offense to McAfee. It's a show. It's a great show. <laughs> don't <laughs> send out cryptic IGs. Don't mention your girlfriend. Don't, men don't just say I'm back. 